Hey guys, Blue Rebel 2.0 here. Um, sorry about what happened, cause um, friendly, a bit busy, and yeah. Um, let's just say I've been sick, and now I'm feeling better. So, alright for me. So I'm in the new one. So I replaced something special into Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, and of course put something special back, and I put new one film. And of course, Mariah Carey. Don't worry, guys. I put the the will play songs on it. So let's see which one I'm gonna choose. Okay, something special. So we're doing five spin. So four, one down, four to go. Bin of rubbish. I don't know what it means, but I don't know what is going on. Okay, so one, two. One between special, something special and miraculous, so three to go to spin. Games video, so let's kneel between something special, miraculous and video games. Read my story. So, uh, yeah, four between of them. Like, something special, miraculous. Uh, games video. Read my story. So, last one. That's the rubbish spin ever. So let me go to mine area. So um, where do I put? How does this? Okay, here we go. No, oh, do I send to the right area? Or wrong area. Okay, we're doing season two. Okay. So the last time that I read you guys was really, really um I was gonna say I was shocked and I didn't know if any of you like my stories, so I'm guessing that you like my uh, ideas, so yeah. So hold on, let me click that and so I don't know where I put it, and I forgot. Uh, it's... Sorry. What I... What's this? Season 2? Yeah, season 2. Okay, so this is season two, and um, let's just say that Alice, in season two, Alice, Sora, and Baby Yoda were having an accident because someone took down their house, and I can't tell you which episode is that, but I will let you know. 
So, um, yeah, let me read it before you guys. Uh, let me guys know what you think of my picture. I'll try my best, but uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> okay, um, in the morning, Alice woke up and feels something different. She went out to the bath. She went to the bathroom, sorry, and looked in the reflection. Her throat is better. She can talk again, but she wonder if she can sing as well. Let's find out. I like it when you eye, but let's find out. Don't I get rid of my free music app? <laughs> Bring my free music back. Later. Okay, I'm back. So. <laughs> okay, guys, so let me read this and then I'll tell you what's going on. But well, it will explain to you what happened. Okay, so Alice lost her voice and then suddenly someone make a wish and now she can talk. And I have to let you guys read it. But see if I'm on the back. Alice will play partying at the Princess of Randall, the Queen of Dragon Set. Season 2, Episode 3, Alice Can Talk and Sing Again. In the morning, Alice woke up and feels something different. Alice got up and walked to the bathroom. Alice looked at the reflection and revealed that her throat is better. Alice can finally say it. Alice said, my throat is better. I can talk again. Wonder if I can sing as well. Alice can hear it. the place was has gone quiet. Alice checked the time on her clock in her room. It was 8 a.m. Alice grabbed her phone and recorded. Recording. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to read something. Alice said, hey guys. Alice here and I can finally talk again. So I was thinking that maybe my parents made their last wish. So I should give them a surprise. By myself quietly. I'm going to hide. And if they think I am going to the bathrooms. Like my parents' bathrooms, the upstairs bathroom, and the downstairs bathroom. I'm going to hide the upstairs bathroom because my mom said that my dad went to have a culture, as you know, the cold never bothered us anyway. So I'm going to hide there as quietly as possible. Alice opened the bedroom door and quietly go to the upstairs bathroom. Oh yeah, guys. Um, uh, let me, I want to let you know that Alice is like barely walk because of her powers healing it. So. Should be fine. Alice said, It was kind of, kind of painful to go up, but I got it. Alice quietly, walked quietly to the bathroom door. Alice said, Next to, my, next to the bathroom door is my parents' bedroom. Alice quietly opened the door and peeped her head in. Alice did the funny head dance like this. <laughs> I do that all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> It'd be weird if everyone watching this and say, "How do I, on earth do I do it?" <laughs> I quietly closed the door. <laughs> God, I made myself cry. Oh God. Alice said, "Let's go in there." Alice quietly opened the door and closed it. Alice said, "Everyone will wake up." Three. Two, one. The alarm goes beep and Elsa said, Jack, I got, what time is it? It's 8.01 a.m. I'm going to have a cold shower. Okay. Jack got up and went to the shower. Elsa said, I'm going to check on Alice. Stupid Joel. I'm going to go to the bed. Okay, uh, the ball is right here. As you guys know, I was really thirsty, like, uh, before my throat. My body to cure and I'm cured. And I think I need some water until I have my duck to bed. After I finish this, Elsa said, I'm going to check on Alice. I also got up and went to the hall to Alice's bedroom. I thought that uh, my phone was flashing. I'm like, what the fudge? And there's no test, no nothing. Okay. If there's a ghost of my mom trying to. Hack my phone. She knows I like prophecy. Elsa opened the door and she wasn't there. Elsa knocked on the bathroom door. She wasn't there as well. As you guys know that uh, 
at least needs to privacy, like uh, to concentrate her powers to make sure no one disturbs her. And now I also did, but um, to make sure that she's in there. <laughs> Elsa said, "Where could she be? She's probably outside." That's what she thinks. I'm going to the bathroom, like the upstairs, because I, we've got timetable schedules. As you guys know, uh, Alice was in uh, her parents' friends' guardians' house, but they called themselves the Big Twelve of their friends' headquarters. Um, in case for the emergency, like uh, just in case that uh, Alice and her friends needs help. Elsa went to the upstairs bathroom and she was about to open it. Okay guys, um, I thought the funny part early because I was too shy to show you guys. But before my uh, YouTube channel went down. So, uh, try not to laugh guys, please. <laughs> Alice said boop. Elsa screamed loud. Alice laughed hard. Jack got out of the shower and let's just say that he heard it and then he kind of slipped. <laughs> so I could go get to him. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did put a game, a game to the hallway. <laughs> it's been a while since I read it. <laughs> okay, I think I feel better now. <laughs> Jack said, are you okay? Is it me or Alice can talk again? Jack opened the door and Alice said, morning. Jack screamed. Alice said, Alice, you can talk again. Surprise. Jack hold her and hugged her. Jack said, last wish. I didn't know that. Elsa said, told you it's working. Since we have our first wish, like we want our daughter looks different. Second wish is that we need someone to free my mother. Which was really wish that she could be in her normal body, not to Holland. And then our final wish is that Alice can talk again. Everyone came up. And let's just say that Elsa and Jack screamed really loud. And <laughs> Up. All I was thinking that is Pichu, is Pichu. <laughs> oh, sorry. And Hiccup said, What happened? Jack said, We make our final wish. Asher said, about what? Alice said, I can't talk again. Ruby said, Whoa, it totally worked. Yuchu said, Smart choice. Alice said, I know. Merida said, But what about Merida Baby Yoda? Ryan said, Yeah. If you guys know that, uh, I googled it about, uh, your Macintosh real name in Brave, and that's what it came up with. Let me guys know if you think I'm lying or telling the truth, because, um, I was giving them a name because uh, everyone needs a name. Every character needs a name. Just like everyone. Anna said, I was thinking that maybe we're waiting patiently. Anna said, she's right. We'll be waiting for them, patient for them to wake up. Kristoff said, well, she's right. She's right. Mona said, Alice, are you still recording? Okay, let's just say that Alice didn't know that it's recording the whole time. Which is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Alice said, oh yeah. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let's just say that um, she made her own vlog. She was like, oh yeah. Lady blog. Uh, whatever the second one name is. Forgot. <laughs> and um, see you next time. Bye. Alice pressed the um, recording on her phone and posted it. Mal said, so why now? Mal said, no. <clears throat> Mal said, Ted and Ben can go to Alice and Sora's house with Joey, while me, Evie, Doug, Jane, Jay, Lonnie, Uma, Harry, Jill, is it Jill or Gil? Oh yeah, it's Gil, sorry. Dizzy, Squirmy, Squeezy, and Celia will help Parker finding her pets in the woods or the street. I mean, let's just say that uh, when the house crawling down, Tiffles and his family heard of it, and Tiffles is worried, so Stuff Lake says she's gonna be okay. Let's fly out of here, but 
for that piece to come completely to our pen. So they did, but Tiflis free her, her animals and they brought it back. Oh yeah, I forgot about Type Down in episode one. <laughs> Sorry. We went outside and Addison said, while they're gone, let's test Alice's voice out. They went to the recording room. Addison started to sing. Okay, guys, I love this song. I love this song since I was a little girl. My mom says that, uh, when I put my wig on, had my tattoo wig on, she said it fit. I said it fit first. And then I came out of the room, go downstairs, I showed my mom. She laughed really hot, loud, like really hard. She thought I'd done my hair. And I said, no, I'm wearing a wig. And she thought that was a real hair. So she took a photo of it. And then a few days later, I, my sister came home and I put my wig on. Well, my dad, my mom told me to put my wig on in case uh, Bethany needs a surprise for my sister. As you guys know, that's um, Angel, Angel Dragon Award. Um, I went, she went upstairs because I told mom to bring her upstairs. And she opened her eyes, Bethany did. And she said, oh my gosh, we look like twins. And I said, shut up. <laughs> We laughed really hard and uh, my mom took a photo of it and then she posted it in her lock screen. <laughs> and that's just like fed up. It was really funny. And then a few days later, uh, I tried to show it to my grandparents, but all of a sudden my hair was growing really quickly like this. And my wig was too small to put it on and then it's a disaster. So my mom said, maybe in the future. Um, when someone's having a Halloween party or something, I'll pull the wig on in case no long hair is kicking out. So where did I, uh, did I put that music? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, it was up there. Take your time, phone.
so that song is from Miley Cyrus, who played Miley Stewart and Hannah Montana. But both, that was both. Because uh, she put where are we going? Like, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. <laughs> and uh, let's just say that I love it. I love Hannah Montana's stuff. Uh, I've got a video games of it on my DS, but unfortunately, it's kind of been dead. And the charger's now charged up. So, kind of bummer. They got their hands and Elsa said, Alice can sing. Alice screamed with joy and said, I can sing. And now this was doing the funny dance. Just like a, just like a dad. <laughs> Did I part? <coughs> Alice went out to the room and hugged her parents and said, thank you. Alice got a test on her phone. Elsa said, Alice, what is it? It's a test from Liv. What did she say? She said that there's something wrong with Sora and Baby Yoda. Came to the hospital immediately. Crying face and shocking, panicking face. And then she said that I'm, I tried to find the word from Google and Google didn't say anything. I think you Google. <laughs> Elsa said, let's, let's get change and we'll meet you in front of your dad's car. I don't have clothes because it's been buried the pieces of, of my house. Don't worry. Joey said and Ben will look for it. Okay, I'll wait. 29 minutes later, they arrived at the hospital. And let's just say that Alice was still wearing her pajamas because her clothes was in the bottom of the house. Oh. Whoops. They went to the waiting room. Sora's mom and cousins were waiting patiently in the waiting room. Elsa said, what happened? Malia said, as you guys know, he, she is Sora's mom. We arrived early here this early morning and we went in their ward. The mourners were beeping. Chuck said, is it good or bad? Lip said, we don't know. Where's P and Karen? They went to school because our mom has a mean and our dad have a Student to train the gym. As you guys know, uh, um, Pete doesn't like pranks, I think. Wait, does he? I don't know. Does, was it Pete Rooney or Pete Rooney? And Liv and Maddie does, oh God. And Liv and Maddie does Pete Rooney, does, Liv and Maddie does pay doesn't like pranks. God's sake. He, um, I got a feeling that he doesn't like perms, so I get back. I try. Elsa said, we bought us here because we've got a little surprise for you guys. And he said, what? Alice came out behind them and said, surprise, or should I say, surprise. They hugged and the gaps and hugged Alice. Lip said, how did this happen? My parents made their final wish last night and it came true. And I said, so cool. Alice's friends arrived. Oh, yeah. Let's just say that uh, someone saved Alice, Sora, and Baby Yoda from their houses. But I like, give you guys the five seconds to get. Okay, uh, let's just say that, uh, oops. Let's just say that the house, Alice's house, is not far away to the superior's house, like, right back by St. Hall. Because, uh, let's just say that he welcomed them from New York when they first met them. Him, sorry. Um, then, yeah. He, he, he saved the, them in case, um, some blood will be out of their body. Yeah. 
Adrian said, hey Alice, Robo called us on the phone that you couldn't talk, couldn't talk and sing anymore. Aya said, why is everyone happy? Alice said, my parents make their final wish to make me talk and sing again. Chloe said, wow. Kagome said, nice. Kim said, was it still hurt? No, they brought us a no shake recipe. It makes the mark mark go away. Luca said, yum. I just said that he's tasted it when he's a kid, I think, when his mom said, he is sweetie. Here's a little shake. Because um, I know that I said to you that your dad duh, doesn't want to be a father. Not like Chapter Stone said that. Because uh, he does, she doesn't want to tell her kids that Child is done with her dad. Marinette said, I've made you Sora and Baby Yoda a Gabriel soon cards. Thanks. I love it. And I hope the boys will love it. Max said, what's going on? Malia says that she and the girls arrive here. Suddenly the Mariners were beeping and I don't know what they're going to die on or live. Nina said, let's sit here and wait. Let's sit here. Let's sit here and waiting patiently. I just start to sing. And let's just say that this one is his reprise, so I don't have reprise on my phone, but unless you guys have it, so uh, let's carry on. I just look at the phone, and the rest of her friends says that they were so glad that she can talk and sing again. That carry any others. The doctor came and said, Alice, Dr. Christopher. <laughs> let's just say that I gave that a name, but until Dawn came. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some good news. What? Sora and Baby Yoda were awake. Did they remember anything? Yes. Out of size. Amelia said, I'll call Titan and the rest of our family. Marina said, I'll call the rest of our friends. Jack said, Dr. Christopher, can I talk to you for a second? Oh yeah, that's a different Christopher. My bad. <laughs> I don't know why I said I told Dawn character, but I was wrong. Sure, plus, I'm a bit surprised that your daughter can talk and sing again. Yeah, about that. Oh. Alice, Liv, and Maddie went to Sora and Baby Yoda's ward. Sora looked at his left and said, Alice, Sora. Alice went to him and gave him a hug. Alice kissed him and he kissed her back. I said, I thought, that, I thought you and Baby Yoda would leave me. Well, apparently we're not. Maddie said, anyway... Her, she's been lost her voice because of her vocal cords was, have been broken. Wait, what? Liv said, but don't worry. Her mom and dad made their final wish. Came true. I was so surprised. Baby Yoda crying like panicking about where he is. Alice came to him. Then she was holding him and said, Hey Yoda, it's okay. Adopted him and mommy's here alive and well. You and your, your adopted him and daddy were here in the hospital. I was very worried. Alice went to Sora and placed him on Sora's arms. Sora said, what happened to our house? Alice explains to him that Parker builds the tunnels under their house that they keep hearing these strange noises. And Joey accidentally removed the book of his and plays the ball to make it balance and then BAM! Gone. Sora said, I'm so going to kill them. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this part. <laughs> no, Sora, you're very injured. Let's see if the uh, let's wait to see if the doctor allowed you and Baby Yoda were free to go. Get right, Alice. I'm so glad you're okay. Well, thanks for what about Baby Angel and Jack get us out when we knocked out, then take us to the hospital. Maybe sooner or later we'll go to the little cup headquarters and surprise them. Good idea. Did they know that before us back? Lip said, Robo says to me that Baby Angel was upset about you and the boys, so you take her to Disneyland California with Jack. So no, they didn't know anything. So not until they come back. They said good. 
Dr. Freak Christopher came in and told them that they're free to go. And let's just say that, um, oh yeah, um, Alice didn't say that about this part about the, the, the staying at her parents' house, whoops. Um, let's just say that, um, Alice helped them game change painfully into their jury pajamas. And let's just say that some of the boys will be in trouble with going to Parker and Joey. But let's just say that about who did, who no Parker and Joey's in trouble. I'll let you guys find out soon. Alice says to him, okay, um, subscribe my channel if you like my idea about the polishing of Parker and Joey's. Alice says to him that they're giving the boys a little bit of punishment. Like, Joey goes to their house to get their stuff with Ben and said. Parker goes out in the woods or the street with Mal and her gang to find Alice's pets. So I like the, likes their idea. See, guys, see? They went to Jack's car and they off to the Big 12 and their friend's house. Malia, Liv, Maddie and their friends follow. And let's just say there's no space them because the car was so small according to Jack. Don't I? So uh, Alice's friends goes to Malia, Liv and Maddie inside Malia's car because Malia's car has got a, a whole space for them. They arrived. Anna opened the door and said, Elsa, Elsa. Elsa said, what is it, Anna? Parker found her pets and we take them to the pet's room. Joey found all their stuff, but their clothes is a bit dirty, so I've took their every day's hero elf every day's outfits in the laundry room. I don't know why I was everyday heroes. This is not life is strange, Cal wake up in the laundry room and the rest of them stayed her magic snow outfit of dragon set in her room. Let's just say her magic snow outfit of dragon set is unbreakable. And durable, which is kind of possible for Alice. Like her eyes, like, Mom, did you see the, the my outfit is on dirty? <laughs> we took the best of them to the laundry shop, and Oaken, we moved there, will call us to see if they're ready to go. Alice said, Antana, did you? Put all of our everyday outfits in the washing machine? Nope. Good. Because last time, you accidentally put them all in and it didn't go well. I know. So I said, did I smell chocolate? They went inside and they saw the welcome home party. Alice said, um, okay, what's going on? Alice said, welcome back, Sora and Bibi Yoda. So I said, thanks. Alice said, what's going on? Why don't you guys live? She's the one who's putting the party here when you guys were at the hospital. Liv, did you do all of this? Liv said, yep. Yeah. Why? Because Alice, when your voice, when you lost your voice by the thanks of my brothers and heartbroken. Sorry guys, uh, I got a message, hold on. Let me up. Uh, right that way. And heartbroken, and you worried that Sora and Baby Yoda was in the coma, I decided to make you feel better. Thanks, Liv. It's very nice of you. That's what cousin in laws do. You're right. Liv, give her a hug. Maddie said, Let's start with the video. Video? Sir, so press the recording. Video. Did you guys hear that? Oh, it's just a game. I thought that was it. Okay. I said, said, seriously, don't ask me and let's get the video started. Alice and Sora laughed. Alice said, hey guys, it's Alice. Today I'm so happy as you guys wanted to know why and what happened. Anyways, my boyfriend and my adopted baby alien son was alive and they're back. Sora walked behind her and said, hi. Alice laughed. Alice and held baby Yoda and waved his tiny baby hand. Alice said, okay. Anyway, uh, we're back in the hospital. When we were there, I was like, panic at this, panic at that, and all but hey, suddenly, they're awake. Someone out there said, surprise. Alice looked at him, 
and said, did you say something? No. So I said, no. I thought you sound like Jack. But how? He's out for a holiday with Robo and Baby Angel. Maybe. Liv laughed and said, check the place. Alice walked to the bathroom because she knows that the door was a bit opening. Like, it's not like like that. Like that. <laughs> Alice said, shiver me timbers. What? Jack's cap was sticking out for the blanket. Jack sort of looked there and said, wow. Jack, Robo, and Baby Angel removed the blanket. Alice said, do the rest of our friends of the little club HQ knows about it? Robo said, yeah. And let's just guys know that, um, how do I know that? And let's just say that I've watched the videos and let's just say that I like it. So I watch all the videos, which I, because <laughs> I watch it all the time. Rupa said, yep. Baby Angel said, we've got one more surprise for you. What? Look outside. Alice and Sora looked outside. Alice said, two flips. Two flips went to her and lick her. Alice said, that's a hundred times you did that. You did it. I don't know. Did that. Sora said, Snowflake. Snowflake stroked his face with her head. Snowflake. Sora said, Careful snow. I said, Flash. Moonlight. Moonstone. They jump around. They jump around. Like, boop, 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 boop. Sonic said, Welcome back, Alice, Sora, and Baby Yoda. Alice said, Hello, Sonic. Amy said, How's your eye? I was fine. The doctor says that it will go away. Knuckle said, How come you two not in the crutches? It's a magic cast in case we need to go up and down the stairs. Tail said, that's the smart people. I know. Shadow said, why is it recording? You'll see. Uh, Jake and the others came out behind the tree. Alice said, Jake, Kirby, easy, Kirby, Scully. Uh, let, uh, let me explain to you guys that, um, as you guys know, that when I was a little girl, I loved being a pirate. And then I watched all the series and of course the movie of it. I really, really love it. And let's just say that, um, that uh, when I was sick, like super, super sick when I was a kid, um, what's going on? That, uh, I wasn't really good when I was a kid. So my mom gave put the shows to me on virtual media TV shows. Cable, sorry. So yeah, that that that's my favorite Disney Junior one. Could it be a surprise? Don't tell me that was the more more surprise of the troll. Issa said, "Yep, so good to hear your voice again. Thanks for my mom and dad. They make they finally made their fine last wish and it came true." Jake said, "So to Sammy, your singing voice is working. Yep, we test it out before we're going to the hospital." Scully said, let's get in inside, I'm hungry. They agreed and they went inside. And let's just say that Alice didn't have her breakfast yet, so luckily they made pancakes. <laughs> and uh, let you comment down below about who will make pancakes. <laughs> and, like, choose choose which one. The other one is, make pancakes for Alice. <laughs> I mean, the boys. Similar, Addison said, we're back, and Alice saw her baby Yoda's stuff, clothes, is finally arrived. Alice said, we're back with our everyday clothes, but because thanks to Parker and Joey, we didn't have enough time to get dressed. So I said, anyway, here's our stuff. Here's my key blade. Here's my clothes and my shoes. My guitar to sing for Alice. Here's my laptop. And here's the pain, pain picture of me. That Alice gave me. Unless you guys know which one was it. Was it his birthday? Or their anniversary? Or Christmas? Alice said, here's my spell book. Here's my scepter. Here's my magic snow outfit of dragon set. Along with my tiara and my staff. Along with magic snow crystal snow topia. Here's my magic tr neverland thankfully it's not completely damaged my guitar the first job of fridays but thanks for the boys it was broke so i'm going to fix it and i hope i know what i'm doing 
says since Joey, Tony replaced Jarvis' voice and into Friday's voice. And here's my painting along with my book. Allison said, here's Baby Yoda's clothes, his toys, and his machine crib, but unfortunately it was broken. Alice said, it will take me forever to fix it. So I said, anyway, Alice, shall we sing the song? Sure. So I grabbed his guitar and Alice said, are you sure you know what you're doing? Possibly. Okay. What? Just one of the doctor's order. I'll be careful. So I kissed her foot, Jake. Alice clapped her. So, so I played the guitar and Alice was started to sing. And I'll let, let you guys listen to Bear in the Studio, song by Dove Cameron, which is, of course, she sing Oath Only with Priest, Descendants 1 2. And uh, this one is from Liv and Maddie. When she sing it before Descend, was it Descendants 2 or 1? I think it is. Wait, I think it's 1. Not sure. I'm gonna make it better than that. So I don't need it anymore because we will listen to one. One song. Uh, what? When was Dave Cameron played in Descendants? Before, yo, how old was Dove Cam? <laughs> okay, so she was. That's not helping me. Well, let me put Dove Cameron. There we go. Ow! Stop it! Stop doing that, Cal. I'm gonna lay old. Um. Oh yeah, it says 2015 because Live the Money starts first and then Descendants. Nice. And of course, she stars in Descendants too. In the end of Live and Maddie. But the question is, where's Descendants three? Three, you sneaky, sneaky Google. Where's Descendant 3? I'll find it up. I'll let you guys find it because. Thanks, Google. They clapped their hands and I said, Thank you for watching. They all said to the Alice, Bye. Said to press the own recording button and Alice said, I'll put my Maracas pin on. While she's put it on, Crystal and Blaze appeared. Crystal said, Well, Alice wear her normal clothes, so, Blaze, what are we going to do? Blaze said, Let's get this party started. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just... Uh, everyone danced around, eating and drinking for a celebration to Alice, Sora, and Baby Yoda. Okay, guys, I think that's it for now. Um, let, me, let me guys know what you think. Let me guys know what you think. Oh, God, this is the... This is the first time since I read Susan to you guys. That's season one. Ha! So thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below about who make pancakes. Um. I was going to say, um. Yeah, who makes pancakes? Who made pancakes? Who? Yeah, just who made pancakes? Let me know. In Alice's door. My story, sorry. <laughs> and, um, press the subscribe button, hit the bell notification on if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you, uh, probably Friday. Afternoon or Sunday. I don't know. Bye.